Godwin, Godwin Emefele, the governor of the central bank, the Apache Road, uh, of course, is getting a reappointment, according to President Buhari's letter last, last Thursday to the Senate. But it wasn't uh, on a platter of gold. This is one of the most uh, vilified central bank governor in Nigeria's recent history. Of course, he's the one who was in office when the economy went into recession and the country's uh, financial position in terms of FX hit the bottom of the barrel. Let's uh, get Boniface uh, Chizia's uh, comments about the, the path to Mifile's return as the central bank governor and, of course, the road he has to travel, the hard road he will have to travel ahead for the next five years. Good morning. It's good to have you. Thank you very much. Well, thank I have a very thank cold you. weather here in Lagos. So yeah. We are suited up this morning yeah. here. But then no light, you know, so you slept without, uh, <laughs> without your air conditioning. So yeah, no, no, uh, so the problem all. with the, the national grade breaks down today is up tomorrow. I think it's one of the issues we need to, to, to fix. But again, if you look at the interventions of the central bank under Mayfield over the last five years, uh, he was also part of a little bit of what they were doing was with the, uh, 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 the electricity Power sector. sector. Yes. Uh, they did a bit in the, with the aviation. But uh, Mayfield and the rest of his team seem to have concentrated a bit more on agriculture and small and medium enterprises more during the period. Do you think this is the mindset of where the president thinks that, look, the Dangotes and flour mills have had it nicely, and forty or so they can as well uh, uh, find their own trajectory. Let's focus on, on medium and small enterprises, folks below the pyramid, and maybe we can be able to engineer growth that will be inclusive to all Nigerians here. Well, I think that, uh, if you ask me, I think that's, uh, that's spot on, in the sense that uh, if you... Looking at an economy like Nigeria's economy, and you're thinking of, you know, what should be the engine of growth in the economy. Uh, it's, it's common knowledge. Everybody knows that really, you know, it's as more SMEs. And uh, that's why the focus, you know, so you're looking at uh, talking of employment, uh, data, you no know, people are going to be employed and so on and so forth. So if there's anything you can do, you know, to give that uh, sector a shot in the arm, you know, we better be doing it. And I think that's, that's why you, you, you found that, um, the central bank, you know, has focused, you know, so you have uh, credits with this sector, you know, at uh, uh, single digit interest, as other sectors, as the uh, central bank ha has tried in the, over this period, you know, to embrace this uh, development uh, uh, Governor you know, says when he was uh, appointed in 2014, of course, under the Jonathan's administration, uh, he didn't know how the elections would go anyway, so uh, no one had an idea how the 2015 elections, uh, or general elections would go, but he did say that it will be you want to run a people focused a central bank so you think over the last five years we can say yes it tends to, to to move things a little bit to dealing with farmers dealing with artisans uh trying to now create something for the creative industry those who are into music entertainment movies and what have you and all of that Do you think this is beginning to look like yes a people centered people oriented financial regulator in from your experience as a banker well I, I recall that uh, he, he did make that that uh, pledge you know i think that uh, to a large extent you know he has kept it now maybe part of what he said which has not been able to i think it's, uh, it's not been easy to practicalize or well, there's going to be data issued during every uh, uh, municipal policy committee meeting it has to you know what they've done as it impacted you know on the level of employment and so on and so forth so he, he heavily did indicate and uh, so far, I think has uh, escaped fidelity you know, to that uh, promise. Mm -hmm. uh, but you think uh, moving forward, you will want to see the Monetary Policy Committee meetings, perhaps the next one for next week. Uh, by this time next week, Monday, they'll be holding another meeting, 20 and 21st. So you think they should bring a bit of more report back, which is a bit more database as to the impact of what they've done in, in those sectors? Uh, I think that not just, in, not, not just with SMEs, I think that all with, in this particular area, uh, aspect, I think that in almost every area in which uh, central bank monetary policy uh, have been implemented, I think there's a need for, for some tracking, you know, so that uh, in that way you, you, are, you are aware, you know, of uh, goings on, you know, so, and then you are in a better position, for instance, to begin to uh, know what adjustments to make. You know, so I think that uh, you have, you take, uh, one of the things you have in this environment is that you put, say, for instance, the, the funds, you know, single digit funds that have been put there to push this uh, development agenda. And I've been put there, and so uh, you hear comments, you know, to the extent that uh, it will be beneficiaries are, are saying that it's uh, difficult to access, you know, so that's why, is it really difficult to access? So what's uh, the problem? So I, I would expect that going forward, you know, that there'll be more of tracking and monitoring so that uh, uh, once on top of, you know, what is happening and, and uh, better able, you know, to uh, be able to think Take over this things, you know, as you as you as you advance. So you important. want the central bank uh, as as a body to to be more 
informative and provide more information uh, to the public as to what the agency is doing. Yeah, okay. Because it's taxpayers' money. Uh, yes, it is. But then to a large extent, I think they need, they need that information for them to be fully aware of what they're doing. And because if you don't have that, even a common businessman, you need a track. So if you're doing in the innovations and so on and so forth. Uh, now, one of the things you, you must do is that if you have a, if an innovative idea, then there's a need for you to go out there. You had expectations when those ideas were introduced. And so you will expect that uh, as you progress, you introduce them. You know, you expect that, that they might not play out, you know, the way you have planned. And so there's a need for you to touch base. And I think that going forward also, we we'll begin to get closer to the customer, you know, the bank, the bank customer and so on and so forth. I think that's also very important. Uh, because you go out there, there are lots of complaints, you know, so uh, people complain about charges and so on. So I uh, can't maintenance fee and they say to you, what does that mean? And so on. So I think that's also going forward. Maybe something like the tariff should also be revisited and looked at. Uh, because there are lots of complaints, you know. Um, and then see if these things could be streamlined. No, we, should, we should try as much as possible to benchmark uh, best practice. And, and communicate more, um, communicate more mm -hmm. with the, with, with the yeah. people yeah. Uh, and with the members of the public, you think? Because uh, if you look at what happened over the weekend, uh, on Sunday to this morning, and it's going everywhere, uh, and, and, and the central bank response was that, yes, it was a 60, 50, 650 billion relating to bailout to state governments at 9%, uh, and it's a two-year moratorium. I'm not sure we had that news anywhere before, until now, you think perhaps if they communicated this before, that look, X, Y amount is going to state government for such a so period, they're going to pay back, this is the disbursement, this is the payback period. Perhaps that would have better informed before some folks get some audio, whatever, which the, uh, 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 the central bank says has been twisted, is false and, 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 and misleading. Well, I think that that's, the, that's, that's, that's what you expect from social media. Social media, I think that's one of those things. You find that lots of warped minds, you know, uh, bad minds, you know, at work, you know, and they are prepared to, uh, I, I, they, all attempts were made, I'm sure that that was circulated to see if they could stop him from uh, getting a, a second term. And uh, uh, that, that has been done, and uh, as uh, the CBN did clearly state in its uh, uh, release, you know, uh, the discussion going on about uh, the, the accounts, you know, keeping the accounts and so on, and they had some issues, and the auditors yeah, the had made some, yes. oh, yeah, made some observations, yes. and then they were trying to see how to, you know, come to terms with this. And you spent, then, you spent, uh, yes. When you spend years in the banking sector, do you think meetings of this nature always go around when external auditors are around or they're looking into your books, uh, the managing director perhaps of the bank or the company will call all the senior managers and say, oh, how do we handle this? What are the situation and things like that? It's, so, it, 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 it's a continuous process. I mean, once you have auditors, they're looking at your, coming in and looking at your accounts and so on, and they're going to say, um, give a verdict, you know, on, and on your external performance. external auditors, it's really, not, they're not your internal no, auditors. No, not internal. So, so they'll be asking questions and so on and so forth, and the matter comes up. And when matter comes up, you better be discussing it. And particularly, or sometimes you find that in this case, maybe there's some like urgency and so on and so forth. But it seems that, that because of the, the bad intention, you know, the, 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 the whole thing was, was, was doctored in such a way that, uh, you know, the, the subject of the discussion was not even, was, was hyped off. And all you were hearing was talking about monies and then how we're going to do it, how do we manage it, how do we go to the, uh, the Minister of Finance and so on. That was what you were hearing. And I received so many people sending me uh, uh, this message, you know, saying that, uh, you know, about this. And so for me, it was a big relief when the re uh, release came from the Central Bank. And I will try also to put it in the media. Uh, for, for you, do you think this gives the Central Bank the opportunity to communicate more yeah, they should uh, come about certain it. issues okay. because if you are distributing money uh, to state governments at whatever percent and at uh, this repairable, these are taxpayers' money. Do you think the central bank and the Ministry of Finance, by extension, are because uh, for this particular issue, if, if we go by what the central bank uh, statement puts on the table, it has to do with the 650 billion which the federal government says is a bailout to state governments, do you think they should communicate this openly? Well, like, Abinisha. <laughs> it was in public domain. I mean, the, the president did say that it was going to give bailout to the states. Yes. Uh, so, no, so one, it was, no, no one knew where the money was where, coming where from. Would really. it come, where would it come from? Central Bank is banker. Yeah, but we didn't Central know that is... money was being given to state governments at <laughs> well, 9%. No, no. no the two-year moratorium. You know, you know Boston, uh, we should put this in context. The, 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 the physical authorities, the president, and, you know, uh, Central Bank is banker to the government. And they don't keep money. So even any money they have, like even they've earned, you know, so accruals from, uh, from taxes and so on and so forth, they are kept the central bank. And so if, if the government, uh, the president has come out and said it's going to give bailout, and he gave not just once, he gave twice and so on and so forth, you would expect that that bailout, you know, would come from the central bank. So that, there wasn't the need for any uh, additional announcement. That central bank will go beyond this brief. 
It's not done in banking. So you keep my monies and uh, you, you help me run my account and I say pay to somebody and then you come and announce to the public uh, we're going to make these payments and then and so on and so forth. I think that uh, uh, I don't see any, any harm there. Central Bank couldn't have done more than what they've done. Like I said, it's just mischief uh, making that's as I play. But I think that it, it wouldn't get anywhere. Mm. Mischief makers at place here. Mm. But, but again, it's been a very a thorny first time for, for God in the MFLA. Uh, and of course, we'll remember. Uh, but the point is that it's going, uh, uh, if you get the Senate clearance and all of that is heading to another uh, five years. So, uh, how much difficult or challenges do you think he faced uh, uh, in, in, uh, as he moves on to the second term? Well, I think that uh, we, we, have, we have success you know, on our hands. And so it's going to be easy. It's very easy to deal with success. You have a success situation. You have all indices are pointing in the right direction. I thought they said success is more <laughs> difficult to deal with. No. Well, then, yes, in the sense that you have to now try and sustain. Yeah. Yeah. So I think that uh, we have success on our hands. And then he's been there. He's been tested. He's been proven. And then, uh, you know, so he's right, he should ride on it. And it, it was terrible for him in the first time. You know, some, those of us who tracked uh, Development Central Bank, you know, it was terrible in the sense that he, the, the gentleman went through hell. You know, during, during the, the, uh, the period of recession, 2016 to 2017, still, of course, good enough. Last year, just about five quarters, you know, and that's, it's a record, too, that we did. We are still not completely out of the woods in the sense that indices are looking good, but uh, the rate of increase uh, is not yet what it should be. So I think that, uh, you know, so that we shouldn't be, uh, there shouldn't be any issues. But I think that going forward, there is other issues we want him to address. I think that there's been this talk about how we manage our um, uh, foreign exchange uh, earnings, you know, that we earn the money and we put it in, in our reserves and then we, we change it, convert it, you know, to uh, Naira and then we share it. You know, I think that as, uh, some, some uh, institutions here have been on this, you know, but like the Guardian, you know, they've been on it, uh, two years upon the two years on this. And then I said to them, you know, then you come with alternatives that are not viable. So you come with an alternative that will say, for instance, we cannot begin, we can't bring dollar that will end in oil, bring it to this country and begin to share it with various tiers of government. It's not done in the first place. You are breaching, you know, our, 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 you know legal tender uh, obli uh, ob obligor uh, uh, status of the Naira. You so can't, you, you, you can't. Your position is we cannot share. Dollar. No, you can't, you can't share. And, then, and even when you do that, all you are doing is that dollar is not going to be spent. Because it's, it's not, it's not, it's not legal tender in this country. Yeah, it's still going to be converted it's to naira. Converted to naira yeah, anyway. so, so I think that's also, I think, but I think it's an area I should look at, and also look at best practice elsewhere. Because I find that each time the Guardian does an editorial, you know, they come up with this matter, and we've taken a position, we've challenged them to say this is not the way. Tell us, and we've raised issues, but they never stop raising this matter. I think that's an area to look into. Mm. Mm. Uh, you think it's for the central bank or for the national assembly? Or the executive. No, bank? I think I think the, the central bank. Central bank has an instrument of autonomy. In yeah, the, yeah, yes, so, but, so, but, but again, you, you can't share any kind of currency in this country without letting the, uh, yeah, the, that, the, the executive branch. We, the, we, the we, we the mostly president. share the bosun. The law, the, 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 the legal tender in Nigeria is naira. So you must still come to Nigeria and begin to. In fact, there's a law that says, if for instance you ha you you have a house and you have, uh, you have tenants like some in some places, and you're asking them to pay. To pay in dollar, it happens. You go to some hotels, they ask to pay in dollars. That is, that's an illegal transaction. It's not allowed. Yeah. I mean, you can come in, you can come in. Some high brow schools in yeah. Nigeria. Uh, and yes, also charge. Yes, so you can, you can, you can make provisions for them to convert. But it's, so it's, it's illegal for that to happen. For me to pay you, so you say, if, it's, if, you, if you, you're going to pay in dollars, this is the amount in dollars and so on. That is illegal. So, and Central Bank must not be seen to be doing that. Okay, so I think that, I think this is a very important area that uh, need, needs to be Late to rest. Do, do, do you think President Buhari will be putting together a team which will work with Godwin and and the rest of them for the next uh, four years of President Buhari's second term in office? Uh, what do you think their main socio-economic policy focus should be? I think that President Buhari is going to be different from President Buhari of the first term. Well, I can so? assure you. Well, it's all beginning to happen because uh, that it, you know. Let, let's take it that we are point, uh, given uh, MFLA in a uh, second term. Uh, not many people expected it. He just prioritized the interest of this country to have done that. How he does, sacrificed how does, how does the central, opportunity. How does the central bank governor get to reappointment? Is it a, the president's a singular decision? Does it call anybody? Whatever? Yeah. How does it happen? The president would, uh, would of course, uh, would feel, you know, take, uh, talk to people and so on and so forth. Of course, he lives in this, uh, in this environment. And some of us also took a position, strong position. I sent a memo to the president. And I did emphasize in that memo. That we need stability. 
Now, because you're bringing another person, we have success here. Does, it need we to need to call build. does, it need to, does the president need to talk to anyone outside the country? Yeah, but, well, of course, you know, there are interested parties. You'd expect that uh, the IMFs and World Banks also would be involved in something like that and be ready for consultations. I had them come visit, they come visit us, they come every year to visit us. And, you know, they do, they do reports. So they, so, they, so they, they have, could, they have their check. So they could be part of decision making yes, for the appointment yes, well, or I, well, not. I should no expect, I should expect that they should be part of it. You are saying that, you know, for that, for the president to have done that, Signals the fact that he means, he means well. And I, I stand here to say that his second term, and he also wants to leave a legacy, and that we've not seen anything yet. Let us fingers crossed and pray that uh, what he, the plans he has for this country will be realized. Okay. Uh, we have uh, uh, time to, to go over this. Thank you so much. Thank we you. appreciate that. Uh, Thank you. We appreciate your coming uh, you. this morning. Thank you. Well, this is Chase, a former banker and a policy analyst.